some Crows fans never want their love and support of the club to end. And I mean never. Crows Forever is the official bequest program and currently has 62 members who have remembered the club in their will or have already made a direct contribution. Bequests start at a few thousand dollars and go up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Everyone involved gets to meet players and officials throughout the year. Did you hook out of Peter or bring it over across with you? Uh, he's, he was, he's turned three just the other day, so he's not a French boy. Crows Forever is the LA Football Club's bequest program. In making a contribution, it could be as little as a couple of hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. Any contribution will help. And being involved means that you can enjoy functions like this um, and have a really close connection to the club. Well, we have always loved watching the Crows, but we just felt that this was something that we would like to do. Carl Chaney, everyone. Uh, terrific to have you with us. I think it's great. Like I said, it should have been done 20 years ago. It is an absolute ripper and a fantastic story as I speak, of course, of Rory Sloan. I love the Crows and I just think it's something really worthwhile to do. They really are the pride of South Australia, I feel, and so I'm just thrilled to be involved. We all know the club song and the more we hear it, the better. Let's go back to when the song was born. Our trip down memory lane is brought to you by our longtime major sponsor, Toyota. Keep an eye out, or better still, test drive the all new Camry. We're the pride of South Australia, the mighty Camry grows. We're courageous, stronger, faster. Oh, I don't think we thought it was too bad. I mean, it was always, you know, probably when we first started with the Crows, everything was new, you know, uniforms and colours and, you know, emblems and all that type of stuff. So. Having a new song was just probably, you know, part of that process. And when we heard, I think we, you know, thought it was right, all right. When we heard Bill Sanders wrote it, I think we sort of suppose we had to like it then. He's paid for it out of his own pocket. <laughs> Putting the words together was a problem because, I mean, you had to look at conventional type songs. You had to look at something that uh, was associated with Adelaide. And, yeah, I, I had some help from others and uh, we finally got it together. because it was on TV. I think quite, a, quite across the board, I don't think anyone really put their hand up. And a lot of those things, often you mightn't have had a lot of choice. I mean, you mightn't have been asked, you might have just been told, you know, that's what you have to do and that's where you have to be. So I think it was a bit more, uh, we didn't probably have the option. We did cop a lot of flack um, within the team, within the state and uh, from pretty well anyone that saw it. That here we go was always what we got into, and you know, so I think when we when we certainly won won our games, we, we certainly did sing it with a lot of um, gusto, and and the boys really got behind it. Well, the run into the finals promises to be tight and tough for those teams jockeying for positions in the top eight. So who do you think will play off in the grand final on the first Saturday in October? These are some of the predictions when Farmers Union Ice Coffee ask fans to have your say. Old oh, Crows and Hawthorne probably. At the moment it'd be West Coast, Fremantle. Probably Hawthorne and Sydney. Hawthorne and Fremantle maybe. Hawthorne and Fremantle. Hawthorne will be there forever I think. Hawthorne and Sydney. Hawthorne definitely. Maybe, I hope it's Dockers and West Coast over there to rub it into the Vicks. Hawthorne, for sure. Hawthorne, probably Eagles. Um, I think it'll be Hawthorne, Sydney this year. Obviously Adelaide. Gross, mate. All day, every day, every year, 70 years straight. For me, it's the Hawks and the Eagles. After the break, we'll catch up with Matthew Yench and check on his recovery.